everyone. Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. I have few people send me the question regarding creating UV curve uh, based on the video of this one. The question was this when they create UV curve, it only coming with a half of the piece instead of a whole piece. This video is about finding out why create UV curve is not working as you want. Are you ready? Let's get started. Even though you join those two pieces together and when you try to create UV curve and it will only allow you to click on one side so your UV curve only have half of them. And the reason is there's a seam right there. And let's find out how did we get this seam. This is the curve that we have to creating this signal ring. And simply what we wanted to do is going to be the sweep to rail. This is a rail one, this is a rail two, and we got cross section here, here, and coming into the point at the end point here. Make sure the arrow is aligned perfectly, and this is how we get the signal ring. If you click on it and check on here on the property, it will say it's a surface, which means it's a single surface. So if you create UV curve right there, and then it will give you a whole area completely. However, if we wanted to do something, only extract certain the surface on the certain area, in this case, I'm going to creating a triangle. And this triangle, it's going to be something look like this. And we are going to moving this triangle down over here. Now at this view, we have a seam over there. If we use this triangle to trim this area, and all we get is two surface right there. This is still a single surface, it has been trimmed. The surface on the left, you can see that it's coming into two pieces. So if I join those two pieces together, it will become a polished surface right there. If you want to create a UV curve, for example, from the right one, then you will get a completely piece here for you to working on your patterning flat. However, if you want to create a UV curve, it will only allow you to selecting one surface. So the problem is the seam. Now let's take a look on other design. I'm going to create a rectangle and we're going to get it into the 3.1, 2, and whatever that length is going to be. Let me simply just move it back from the midpoint to this end point right there. And then to make it nice and round, I'm going to using the fitted corners and let's fit this for about 1.5 millimeter for the radius and we'll get something like this. Now, if you click on this, it will say it's a closed curve. And if you try to explode this, this one can be multiple pieces. So we are going to join back together and see the differences compared to the round one. That's using the same command, sweep to rail. You got rail one, rail two, cross section one, two, and coming into the point for the end point and make sure that they are aligned and facing the same direction. So we'll get something like this. Notice that there's a lot of the dark line over there and all of this will be the same. If I try to explode this one, notice that they become small pieces there. And even though we are using the similar triangle and I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger and let's go ahead to trim the rest of it. When I try to create UV curve and I'm clicking on this, notice that I can only select this pieces there. And if I'm trying to click on the other side, create UV curve. And again, I can only select one single pieces. So the answer for the question is why UV curve is not working because you got multiple seam and the multiple seam is coming from your curve because your curve can be exploded into multiple small curve. So how to solve this problem? Let's go back one step. Before we create this, this is a multiple curve connected into one curve, which means they all have a seam on all the uh, point right there. So we need to rebuild this curve. And 
it was 16 point degree two. That stayed with the same point and we still get a little bit deviation there. So try to make it into more point to get really close to whatever the shape that you have, for example. Uh, in this case, I'm getting up to 40 point, so it won't be like too much of a difference. Once you get into like this, you may feel like this is not completely flat there. So what you can do, it's coming over here to the top. You can select all those points and that's using the set point SETPT and we want to align with the Y axis and we want to align with this point. So then they will be straight line right there. And then you can do on all four corner. For this demonstration, I'm going to stop here. So now this curve is a degree three. We need to make sure this one is a degree three curve as well. So let's go ahead to rebuild this one as well. And we want to rebuild this one. We can stay with the same point. Um, and then we need to make sure degree three. However, I, when I'm doing the sweep, I always like to have a top and the bottom exactly the same point. So we have 40 point there. I'm going to stay with the 40 point over here. And let's go ahead to using the sweep two, rail one, rail two, and cross section one and two, and coming into the point. Make sure that this arrow is facing the same direction and then uh, it's aligned. So let's take a look on this one. Now, if you take a look, look on this one, this is a single surface. So I'm going to call him back to those triangle. And with this triangle, I'm going to trim this over here. And let's take a look on this. This one, it's there's a seam over there and this one, will have no seam over there. So we can use create UV curve on this one. Notice that there will be one seam no matter what. You have to have one seam. The point is if the seam happen to be on this side and they are symmetrical, then we can just using this one over here. If they are not symmetrical, you can actually move a seam to the other side before you sweep into the surface. The way to moving the seam is by coming over here, you have a just closed curve seam. And currently this seam is on this point and we can move it to the other side and that way we can avoid the seam on the side that you wanted to do the design. So again, the answering your questions, if you have create UV curve is not working, that is because you have a seam on it. I hope that answer your questions. Most of my 3D model secret will be in the membership. I hope I can see you in the membership program. Thank you for watching. See you next.